Hello there. Only one Kenobi here. Only one. Now, in this video, I want to talk about what my top five card backs that I think could have been improved. There might be an air of criticism in this video, but if you wait for my next video, I will do five figures I think that have they nailed in 2018 and 19. So let me explain what I mean. The vintage collection just came back in 2018, and we have had a few figures so far. Some of them have been absolutely amazing, but I want to talk to you about the ones that I thought, oh, why the hell did they choose that card back? So let's get straight into it. Let's not waste any time. I'm going to start. I've got them all in front of me here. No game plan. I'm just going to go with the heart. I'm going to start with the ones that I think were the, the most ludicrous. The first one was this Han Solo Stormtrooper disguise. What a wasted opportunity that was. Thank God. For, thank you for the figure, Hasbro, Kenner. But I tell you what, whoever chose that image, as Andy Millman would say, was having a laugh. Is he having a laugh? Is he having a laugh? You know what I mean? What, what were they thinking? That's terrible. Terrible. Worst, worst image ever. Anyway, there he is. Very dark image. Very sort of grainy. This is what they should have chosen, by the way. Sorry, I was going to show you the images of what they should have chosen. That would have been awesome. That would have been like, oh, to die for. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, they didn't choose that image. They chose this. And that's uh, what we have. So we've got to get on with them. We Moving hastily on. This is another one. I love the figure. I love Enfys Nest. But that's what we got for Enfys Nest. This is what I think we could have, should have had. Now I'm quite aware that they have to work with whatever they get given by Lucasfilm. So it's not necessarily Hasbro's fault, really. They have to, you know, whatever they're provided with, I guess they have to use. However, um, in an ideal world, that's what the card back would have looked like for Enfys. That, that's such a great shot. It's in the trailer. It's that standoff, you know. The Mandalorian's going to be this whole Wild West thing. That's a Wild West shot. Gunslingers, man. And uh, that's what we got. And it's such a fake image. It's like a computer game or something, isn't it? With digital snow that's number two number three now i'm going to show a couple of figures that were shown and previewed in 2018 when they said the vintage collection were coming back and they've obviously changed their minds on the car backs that's what we got for the stormtrooper first order stormtrooper this is a single name pill card here um when they announced it i think it was at a panel there was a kind of a, t a table of guys i think even Steve, uh, what's his name now? I've forgotten his name. He was there as well, and they had a big screen behind them. Um, what was his name? Steve, oh, I'll, I'll remember by the end. Anyway, they had an image of the Stormtrooper, and it was this. I've just got a screen grab there of what they had, and that's them on uh, Starkiller Base. I just think that that would have been a wow card, you know? But what we got was this one, and I always, when I first saw that, I thought, well, I know that on the Force Awakens, it might, I think it's a grab from the Force Awakens, JJ is very big on lighting, like as in, you know, when there's a lightsaber, there's a big blue glow on Finn's face. There's obviously blaster fire there, and that Stormtrooper looks really red. But I just thought that that was a, you know, a mediocre choice. But anyway, we got it. Next one, Ray. Now, Ray was the first one we saw when they announced the return of the vintage collection. It was at, uh, it was in 2017 that they announced it, I believe. It was, yeah, mm. two years ago or ish. And they, or longer. Mm. Yes, it was longer than two years ago now. Anyway, they said it was coming back and they had this preview and the card back span round and it wasn't this one. It was another one, it was this one. And I liked that one. It was Ray walking. You know, when she's strolling, you see more of a sort of kind of a long body shot and she had her you know, her um, staff with her. And it reminded me very much of farm boy Luke. Well, I'm not suggesting, but we don't know who she is now. Is she a Skywalker, isn't she? We don't know yet, we'll find out soon. Um, long shot, you know. And then we got this one. Um, it's a nice picture of, I love Daisy Ridley, it's a nice picture of her. However, look at the picture of her though. I've talked about this before. It's almost a little bit fake. It's got like shards of light put on it. There's a few hot spots with lighting. I think they've digitally manipulated that image. What do you think? Either that or it's a bloody good photograph. Anyway. So, the reason that's on my list of could have, should have been improved is because I liked what they previously had. I 
thought they could have gone with that and it was more vintage 80s vintage so I've done uh, how many have I done there four let's do one more the Praetorian Guard now I'm happier with this one I've got a single name pill Praetorian Guard now and I'm glad about that but the reason I put this on my list is because I think a few of you do agree as well it's not a really fantastic image really of the card it's a bit of a letdown that considering how powerful this card is and these characters were these characters were great as, as were great as well uh, that's an epic card Victorian guards are never going to be as good as the royal guard but um there's a few images of or shots that ryan johnson you know credit to the man he knows how to make a film look beautiful the shot when it's this one here now that you're looking at when kylo ren he goes you've bested by a girl who's never held a lightsaber you failed <laughs> not we didn't quite sound like that but you know what i mean and then he sort of <laughs> zapped him in the praetorian guards <laughs> skywalker and then he goes out and cuts like that um there's a rip that, that shot of the praetorian looks sharp as hell man can they put that on a card but that's what i was trying to say before you know lucasfilm have to they divvy out these images and hasbro have to deal with whatever whatever they're given but if that's what lucasfilm are giving them or that's all they can get hold of or someone's late lazy or com, you know complacent and just chosen that one and they didn't investigate further am i being a bit harsh it's not that bad the card back really i prefer it now i've got the single pill one but i just thought it was a bit fake it looks fake it does look fake actually it does look a little bit fake computery computer gamey and that is it have i done five now han solo ray and this nest the stormtrooper and the praetorian guard and my two honorable mentions are this han solo again a very fake image love the figure not bad car back i do like that there nice that they let's see, can see the falcon cockpit the falcon cockpit however um I just think any natural photograph shot of Han would have looked good like this, you know? That's what vintage cards are about. Keeping it real. That just does not look real. What do you think? It looks like they've touched... Sounds wrong saying that, touched him up. It looks like they have faked him up. I don't know what they do, do you know? Just sprayed him digitally enhanced him so now he doesn't look real he looks like a bloody computer game excuse my language I swear. i'm very passionate about this obviously and then finally my last one i do like the image on this card back it's this guy here this is my honorable mention because i'm happy enough with that the only thing i'm not happy about with this card back is that badge there i've warmed to the last jedi that's not my issue the point is we now have two luke's from last jedi that's what we should have had for Luke for Last Jedi, and that alone. That, my friends, I believe, is Force Awakens. Because at the minute, we hardly have any Force Awakens. We've got Kylo Ren, we've got Stormtrooper that you just saw, we've got Rey, and we've got Captain Plasma. Phasma. Fellow, <laughs> fellow figure collectors, James calls it Phasma. Anyway, we've got Captain Phasma. We are going to get Poe Dameron. We might get Ray, uh, Finn, I don't know what the plans are, but I just thought that was his best moment. I know he doesn't say anything and he, he laughs at himself, doesn't he, Mark Hamill, that he didn't speak in the film. But I loved it in the cinema when he turned around and the music, John Williams' music is great. He takes the help robe off and then you wait two years and he chucks a lightsaber over his head. Ryan? Ow! I tell you what, man, I was not happy in the cinema when I saw that. I was absolutely, I was like, what? And then it got good, the film, then Snoke came on. Anyway, I'll shut up, but that's what I think. Oh, five that could have been better. Stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to show you five they nailed. So it's not all negative on this channel. We're going to show you ones that they nailed. In fact, you've already seen one. They nailed that one. Thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.